Hi, my name is Greg Knox and I'm the Executive Director of Skeena Wild Conservation Trust. And this is a video on the salmon returns we might expect to see this coming season, as well as uh, some fisheries information on what fisheries may take place. And so I'll start with a recap of last year and we saw uh, kind of low to moderate returns in a lot of salmon populations on the north and central coast. Uh, but were, there were some pleasant surprises, including a very large return of, of Skeena sockeye, 4.3 million, a good return of Nass sockeye, and uh, some decent returns of other species like Chinook into the Nass. So the reason we've been seeing some improved uh, returns in, in the last year or so is partially due to better uh, ocean conditions, so cooler. We've had what's called a triple La Nina, which has meant cooler uh, ocean temperatures in the North Pacific Ocean, which results in more food for our salmon when they're out there feeding. This information that I'll be talking to you about is provided by the Department of Fisheries and Oceans, First Nations Fisheries Programs throughout the Skeena Watershed, Nishka Fisheries and the NAS, and the provincial government as well. And so I'll encourage everybody to make sure if you're going to go fishing to check the re fishing regulations with DFO and the province because this information is preliminary, things may change, and we want to make sure you have the best up-to-date information. So I'll start with sockeye and for the Skeena, the forecast from the Department of Fisheries and Oceans this year is 3.2 million, which is a, would be a strong return. Uh, an average long-term return is two to two and a half million sockeye for the Skeena. In terms of fisheries that will take place, uh, if we get those strong returns, we'll see uh, gillnet fisheries at the mouth of the river in mostly in July, possibly early August, and uh, also some potentially some seine fisheries. And the wreck fishery will open once we get 800,000 estimate past Tai test fishery at the mouth of the Skeena. So moving on to the NAS, the forecast for NAS Saka is 366,000. Uh, Long-term average is over 600,000, so not a really strong return. Uh, in terms of fisheries, there's potential openings for gillnet in July for, for at the mouth of the NAS for sockeye, and for seine fisheries for both uh, pink and sockeye in uh, July and, and August, depending on the returns. Next up is Chinook. For Skeena Chinook, the Department of Fisheries and Oceans is expecting 21,000 into the system. Last year, the return was 27,000. And, but the long-term average is 80 to 120,000 Chinook. So returns in the last many years have been significantly below the long-term average and of conservation concern. And that's why we've seen uh, closures in, for Skeena wreck fishery in the river. And we'll see that again this year, it looks like. And also uh, potentially closure in the uh, Prince Rupert area recreational fishery from mid-June to mid-July with no Chinook retention and one per day before and after those dates. Um, for Nash Chinook, the forecast is 27,000. The long-term average is about 30,000, so about an average return is expected. Uh, the, the sport fisheries will likely be open for Nash Chinook. And for Kitimat Douglas Channel Chinook, we're not expecting any changes. We don't have any, any information on preseason forecasts. They're already starting to come into the Kitimat. For Haida Gwaii, we're expecting the sport fishery for Chinook to be reduced uh, in June and July to one Chinook per day. And we're expecting the North Coast Troll fishery to open in mid-August. And moving on to coho uh, forecasting a low to average return this year uh, more like a average return in the NAS. they're expecting 132,000 coho and average is 176,000 there's no ski forecast for skeena coho uh, the wreck fisheries will likely be open in both the skeena and ass uh, for chum the forecast continues to be poor for most north and central coast systems except for some NAS area streams where we've been seeing 
uh, kind of average to decent returns in some of those systems. For pink salmon, we don't have any real good forecast information. Uh, that could be average for the NAS. Uh, there likely be fisheries open in area three, which is NAS area. Uh, possible openings in this, at the mouth of the Skeena and in area six, which is uh, Douglas Channel and Outer Coast uh, down by Hartley Bay. And finally, for steelhead, uh, there is no forecast, so we really don't have much of a, much information on what we expect. Although the returns in the last four years for Skeena steelhead have been really low. Last year, the return was 16,000. And if the return estimate at Taiyi is estimated to be 8,000 or below, that could trigger a closure. Um, but hopefully uh, we'll see an okay return to the Skeena again this year. So in summary, please make sure you check the fishing regulations before you go fishing or uh, of course commercial opening information. Uh, you can get more information at skeenawild.org or uh, send us a message at info at uh, I will be putting out in-season videos starting probably in late June, early July and about every two weeks to give people up-to-date information on the, on the actual returns we're seeing and the fisheries that are taking place. So thank you and have a good day.